Hey guys, Gathering the Magic, back with a Daily Rewards Claim. Um, today is the 27th, and I'm going to get started on my $10 account. Uh, I have 11 bronze chests to claim, and we're up to 37 for the season. Just under three days to go, so let's get started. I uh, want to say thank you to Dwayne yesterday for having me on his members-only live stream. It was great to finally get a chance to talk with him face-to-face uh, -face and go over a lot of um, just a lot of ideas and a lot of issues in Splinterland so it was great to talk to him and to Jim and see everybody in the community and see all the great chat going on so had a lot of fun with that hope we can do it again uh, sometime hopefully later this week okay so let's get started with the chest let's start with the one on the bottom one legendary potion oh just so you guys know I'm going to make a video later today going over um, some ideas and notes that I've made on how to improve the bronze experience. And I think you guys are going to like the changes. I made I made a suggestion a couple days ago about, oh, what if they got rid of um, SPS in reward chest to kind of uh, keep bots from exploiting SPS and give it more value. And I know that would get huge backlash if it was ever implemented. So I tried to turn that around and say, okay, what things could we add to add value and add fun to the new player experience. So stay tuned for that later today. I think you guys are gonna like it, so definitely check that out. And a little spoiler for that video, this right here, if you're playing a bronze, you won't see it. Okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, next, a little SPS, alchemy potion, more potions, ever hungry skull. Okay, Pelicor Deceiver. So two cards and 11 chests. And just to kind of give another hint for the video I'm turning out um, later today, this doesn't look too exciting. It would look a lot more exciting if something was not in bronze chests. So I'm not going to say anything, and we will just move on. Okay. So defend is the focus. See if I have any SPS to claim. And then we'll move on to the main account. Nope, don't have enough SPS to claim. So let's go ahead and move on to the main account. And I think here I have 10 silver chests to claim. Not sure why the game is acting so laggy. Okay, let's just refresh it. Okay, yep, 10 silver chests to claim. 23 gold for the season. So excited to be opening gold chests in a couple of days. Okay, starting with one, oh, almost 1 1.3 SPS. More SPS, Alchemy Potion, Vampire Bat. All right, have not gotten one of those in quite a while. More SPS, Heatsmith, and Conjurer. So three common cards. Defend. <coughs> so hopefully get a better focus. Death, water, stealth, any of those would be great. Fire, okay. Don't usually play fire, so it'll be interesting to play fire a little bit today. Let's go check the SPS. Another thing, guys, if you have any um, ideas as well as... Um, things you can do to improve the bronze player experience let me know in the comments below and I will definitely look over those and maybe add those to the video that I'm going to do later today so definitely interested in getting your feedback okay, I'll claim this little bit of SPS and it looks like I have to wait to claim this yep another two hours we'll claim the rest of that SPS 
Okay, let's take a quick look at the market, see what's going on. This is what really surprised me today when I checked the market. Let me refresh this just so I know it's 100% accurate. There was a lot of validator node licenses that got exchanged yesterday. Usually, I mean, as far as I can remember, the top two um, tokens as far as 24 hour, hour volume are always DEC and SPS. Actually, for the last few weeks, it's been these four are always at the top. DEC, SPS, Chaos Legion Packs, and the GLX token. Did to see validator node licenses all of a sudden shoot up? And actually, this has gone up from earlier today. Um, just like an hour or so ago, I looked at this, and this was at uh, $45,000 volume. So to go up to 52000 means another 10 validator node licenses have been bought and or sold. Uh, the price earlier today was 780 Now it's tanking down to 720 So if you guys are interested in all of picking up nodes, keep an eye on this price because it has really been dropping lately. <clears throat> and it might be um, a good time to, to snag one if that's something that you're interested in. Um, DEC looks very attractive at 64 I think I'll probably be converting some more of my GLX tokens into DEC later today. Um, as you guys know, I am converting out of my SPS. I'm unstaking it, and I will have some more in two days. And I'm going to be converting my SPS over probably mainly to the GLX token to get the increased uh, APR, the, the higher drops per day. Um, right now, well, let's take a quick look. I have 6,400 GLX, and I am earning, according to Splinter Cards, I am earning 72 GLX a day. So to me, 72 GLX a day at three cents is a lot better than I was getting eight SPS a day for 15,000. So that's the main reason I've switched to GLX. The price is about the same. Um, like I said, in a couple of days, I'm going to get, I think, another 3,800 SPS. So I'll probably be able to get uh, 3,100, maybe 3,200 more GLX. Get that above 9,000 and just start cranking those out. Okay, plots. I still want to get two more plots. My goal is to get five. So plots are 129. So trying to save up some funds and come up with some money. Maybe I'll sell some more of my Magic the Gathering collection and uh, grab a couple more plots. Um, vouchers. Another thing I'm really strongly bullish on are vouchers. So to see this under seven cents is kind of exciting for me. Um, it's, it's a toss-up for me right now whether I want to get vouchers with my um, GLX or DEC. I might go 50-50 because I definitely want um, a lot of DEC before land comes out because I think um, DEC is going to play a big part with uh, leveling your buildings and land and maybe with repair costs. Um, I know they want to add DEC sinks, so land is going to be a great time for that. Uh, vouchers as well. Um, voucher utility is coming. Um, the key is going to be when they have voucher utility um, for small amounts of vouchers, you know, one to ten vouchers to be used uh, by a player on a consistent basis will really help this price stabilize and go up. And then, of course, when Rebellion comes out, you probably will need uh, one voucher per pack, and then you're also going to need vouchers for the bonus packs. We'll see this price tick up. Um, Hard to tell exactly what the target's going to be. I'm thinking it's probably going to go to at least 50 cents. It wouldn't surprise me if it goes to a dollar. But then again, it, you know, if I'm expecting a dollar, it may only go to 60 cents. But even still, there's no way in the world that this is going to stay 7 cents uh, when people are going to be hyped and FOMO'd into getting the new packs when they become available. So not financial advice, but just something if you guys have um, don't have vouchers, um, vouchers might be something good to grab. Um, another reason I'm very strongly bullish on vouchers is if you go to Pink Monsters and you look at the rich list for vouchers, I only have 120 vouchers, which isn't a lot, but I'm in the top 2,800, which I think is, is pretty good. I mean, if you look, the number 200 richest person for vouchers has just under 2,900. So that is quite a lot, but when you consider, you know, Splinterlands, you know, supposedly has 10,000 plus players. You know, to be in the top 200 with only 2,800 vouchers kind of tells me that there's a very few people holding a lot, but the majority of players don't have them. So 
vouchers would be a good thing to to pick up just for long term so uh, there you have it guys so I will go over more things in detail in the later video like I said the main video I'm working on right now is how to improve the bronze player experience so like I said earlier if you have any suggestions or ideas or things that you would like to see as a new player or newer player you know what kind of things would you like that would really get you excited about playing the game and you know playing every day so leave those in the comment section below and I will Definitely go over those, answer any questions, and add some of that information to my video later today. Uh, until then, I want to say thanks again to Dwayne for having me on the live stream. And hope you guys are having a great day, great season. Uh, like I said, less than three days to go. So start, keep grinding, keep um, building up your chest for the end of season. Hopefully you guys will get great rewards. Uh, until then, I will see you later today with another video. Take care, guys. Happy grinding.